Hello, fellow island riders. Uh, good to see you. <laughs> Sorry for the, uh, the untidy and unkept workbench here a little bit. I'm trying to get caught up on a lot of maintenance that I've just been, you know, not really slacking off on, but I just haven't had a really good opportunity to do it. There's just been so much going on lately that, man, it's just stuff is starting to catch up on me. Like the battery here. I just topped up the, uh, the electrolyter, the, the fluid in it there with some distilled water. It got down pretty low. But that's that. Um, today is Friday when you're watching. If you're watching this is when it's released. <laughs> and I hope you're having a great Friday. And no matter when you're watching this, really, I hope you're having a great day. Um, but since it is the last Friday of the month, it means it's channel update time. Yeah, so every month, um, if you're new to the, to the channel, which I suspect you, some of you likely are, because we had a lot of new subscribers join the ride group or join Island ADV as subscribers. Um, but every last Friday of every month, I do a channel update. And that gives me an opportunity to kind of connect our timelines a little bit. Because what I do with the channel is I film way in advance. And the reason why I do that is just to make sure that we always have good new motorcycle adventures on every Monday. And also, um, since it's the winter time, we're doing winter bonus videos. So that's coming up. So it gives me an opportunity to let you know kind of, you know, where we've been, what kind of videos are coming up, and what I'm working on right now. So obviously I'm working on trying to catch up to all this maintenance. I, still, I got a list of stuff to do. I gotta go and I fixed that bulb in the back. I was, there was a bulb out on my license plate and I gotta now do the, um, I'm gonna change out the coolant and the radiator because that's looking kind of brackish. And I'm also gonna tear down the rear suspension and I'm gonna give that uh, a good grease there because that's likely super dry. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get to a little bit more of that stuff. And then we'll meet back here uh, once I'm done and, uh, or once I get some <laughs> progress made and we'll talk a little bit about what's coming up on the channel. But also, uh, we'll also talk about five things that I think you should be considering to do right now to get ready for your new adventure season that'll be coming up. Anyway, I'm gonna get after that. Yeah, that's some brackish old coolant. Holy smokes. Definitely time for that, eh? Right on. So I'm gonna let that drip out. I still got more work to do. I'm gonna take off the overflow tank and I'm gonna drain that and disconnect it and just flush it out with some, you know, distilled water. Um, but yeah, that's that's a pretty easy process doing that. Um, normally, <laughs> I bring you guys along for, for some of these, you know, maintenance videos and stuff and I make them as bonus videos, but I got a little bit of a policy when it comes to maintenance videos on YouTube uh, for the KLR, unless I'm like 100% confident with the process or unless I have a lot of background information going into it, knowing that I'm gonna be confident talking about it, I'm not gonna do a video on it. So I've only, this is like, I think only the second time I've done this. So maybe next time, maybe next <laughs> winter, I'll do a, a bonus video about this. So let's get talking a bit about um, channel update stuff. Let's talk about a little bit of where we are. So by now, you guys have probably just watched uh, episode seven of Along the Witch's River. So that would have been when we went wild camping up in the hills of Shetty Camp. Oh man, that was such a fun, fun way to camp. I love wild camping. Um, I kind of discussed that on another little hiking video I did, but it was such a great time. It, we, I think all three of us on the trip, like, really agreed that one of the best parts was just getting into camp after a long day of riding and just chilling out, having some cigars, chatting, telling stories in the dark, and then, uh, you know, waking up and hitting the road for another adventure the next day. Oh, it was so good. So that's where we're at there. Um, and yeah, we've been doing some bonus videos, a lot of electrical stuff. I've been, had all these electrical projects on uh, hold for a while and, and now I've just kind of done them up and everything is looking really good now. So I'm really happy to share those with you. So what is coming up? Well, Witch's River, um, we get right down to the mission. It's time to go to Mull River. So Monday coming up um, after the weekend here, um, my time, real, real time, uh, <laughs> we'll be headed up to Mall River and to Mabu. So what are we gonna find there? Um, I don't know, <laughs> I won't spoil it. Um, but that'll be then. Um, and then going off into the rest of the series, we have our, we take a rail bed trail, a really cool one, another awesome Clyde, patented Clyde trail find for us. <laughs> we find a really cool rail bed trail that takes us from Mabu all the way to Judiki, from Judiki down to the Canso Causeway. And after that, we say our farewells and me and Brandon hit the road and head home for Prince Edward Island. And then after that, 
to get back into the Prince Edward Island adventures. So that was what I was talking about with the timelines being so detached from right now to the when we actually have the film and the videos that come out. So those videos in Prince Edward Island are going to be coming out after the Witch's River. Those ones were like filmed back in September. So, you know, we'll be here in the dog days of winter watching the, uh, the leaves fall. In. But that's really cool. There's some really cool episodes coming up for that. And uh, what am I doing right now? Well, I'm getting caught up in maintenance right now. Um, <laughs> but I'm also filming some gear review videos. So I'll have a cool new gear review video coming up here for you on Friday. Plus, I've just got a ton of mods that I still need to install. A ton of things I need to install and do to the bike. And I'll bring you along for that as well. Anyway, I am going to tidy up this mess. Um, I'm going to finish doing up this cool and stuff. And then what I'll do is... I will uh, catch up with you on those five things that I think you should be considering. Let's do that right away, actually. So yeah, I wanted to talk about uh, the five things that I think you should be thinking about right now. While we're in our off season, while we got a bit of a break from the riding season, what are we gonna think about to do? What should we put you know, in our line of sight um, going into the next adventure season, the next riding season? So um, I got five things because five things just is a little bit more rounder. <laughs> I don't know. First things first, uh, tires. Holy smokes, don't we ever love to talk? We love to talk about tires, don't we? What I use, since this is probably gonna be the question that's asked, I use a Shinko 805 on the back, which is this big fella, and I use a Shinko 804 on the front, and I love them, I think they're great. Uh, I'm gonna experiment with a different tire this next season, I think, maybe, who knows? I might take a, a little leave of absence from the Shinko army here for a little bit, but these are a really fun tire, I love them, but they do have a little bit of a, a paddle profile here nice long lateral lug yeah see that fella see how it goes all the way to the side like that well what that does basically is it results in you slipping out side to side in the mud however if you get into a deep mud hole it paddles you right out like a boat so last season it took me i think it took me like over a month to get these tires uh so the lead times there's there's tire shortages there's long lead times for tires so if you think you need tires for next season now is the time to order them, all right? Um, I don't want to freak you out or anything, but like, I think, I think you should order your tires now. Um, I'm going to do it very soon. I think I'm going to put the call in and, uh, and get those ordered up because I'm thinking about experimenting with some TKC-80s. I want to see what all the fuss is about. Um, so that's definitely number one thing to do. Even if you don't need tires right now, like these are really good. Um, I got a lot of lug left in this. And, uh, but still, I think I'm going to get them anyway, just because I don't want to be like, you know, sitting with a bike that needs tires in the middle of the summer when I'd rather be ripping up the mud and the, the dust. So I'm going to, I'm going to get that set up. So that's number one, get your tires sorted out. Think about tires, you know, we're always thinking about tires. <laughs> All right, let's get on to number two. All right, again, sorry for the mess. Number two <laughs> that you should be thinking about. Um, you know what, I use the word should uh, very usefully. Maybe bold that, <laughs> you know, un emphasize on should because, you know, you do whatever you, you want to do for sure. Um, you know, this is just my recommendation based on what I'm observing right now, trying to, trying to get my life sorted out for the next riding season. But mods and accessories, things like that, you know, all this cool stuff that you want to get ready for your bike. Like I've been amassing a ton of it. I've got, you know, luggage systems. I've got communication systems, chin mount systems. I got this for water uh, and I got this. This, well, I'll show you what that's about <laughs> a little bit later. But um, yeah, all of this stuff that you need to get shipped to your place in order to enhance your riding experience, in order to get your bike ready for the season. Start thinking about that now. And if you can start ordering it now, um, like supply chain issues are just crazy right now. The, like it took me forever to get some of this stuff because it's just, there's not a lot of people delivering things lately. And the amount of time it takes from to get to, you know, wherever it comes from to here, uh, you know, it's, it's a long time. So if you want to get ready, if you want to start getting some mods installed, if you want to start getting some of the cool things that you had and playing in your head put onto your bike, now's the time to start going up there and ordering the stuff. Head down to your uh, local dealerships, to your local areas. Ask them to order it too. If you can, that sometimes works a little bit quicker actually if you go local and you ask those folks to order it in because they have like supply chain 
direct lines, right? They cut out the middleman, they go right to the supplier and they can get it sometimes a lot quicker. That's really good for those tires like we're talking about. You know, you can go to Fort 9 and you can get them, but you can also just go to a dealership and say, hey, I want to order this tire and they'll, they'll order it in direct to them and then you can just go pick them up, put them on if you like, or you can have them set it up for you. And the same kind of thing for, you know, other bike mods. Most people won't be able to get a hold of this stuff for you. But for like super custom stuff, you know, there's, there's going to be some time. So definitely go. Like I've been trying to put together a new helmet rig forever. And I just now, after like two months of, well, not two months, well, like a month and a half of like waiting, I just got the final piece of the puzzle, this chin mount for my new Scorpion uh, AT9, EXO AT950, I think is what it's called. But I'm really excited to put that together. Oh, that's, that's a video coming up. <laughs> I'm going to go over how I, uh, I set up my helmet rig. I'll go over the, the Mark IV helmet rig for you and how I do dual vlogs. I'll go into detail about that. So that's number two, mods. Things that you want to put on your bike. Start thinking about it. Start ordering it if you can. Anyway, let's move on to number three. Are you thinking about getting a motorcycle? <laughs> Have you been watching the videos? Have you been inspired to go out and get a KLR 650 or a dual sport or an adventure bike? If you are and you're thinking about getting one for spring, I would strongly recommend going down to your dealership and putting some sort of hold on one or ordering the bike that you want right now. The lead times for bikes, it's, it's, it's the same story, you know, that I've been, I've been saying before, like between like this supply chain issues and between like the semiconductor shortage, you know, the microchip sh shortage, it's just been really hard to get new bikes. Um, I can tell you right now, um, pretty much, I don't know if it's still accurate right now, but I know my buddies, uh, Mitch and Shane down at Bolger Motorsports, they're sitting on two KLRs. Uh, they got a 2022, a nice red one, and they got another red uh, 2016, 17 or something like that. Both really, really good bikes. So if you're on Prince Edward Island and you've been thinking about getting a KLR 650, head on down there and put your name on it uh, for sure. Because if you don't, someone will. <laughs> that 2022, if it's not gone already, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be going soon, I imagine. But get your bikes by all means. Also, another thing. Um, if you're thinking about taking a, a motorcycle safety course, like an M MSF, I think is what it's called down south in the United States. I did mine through uh, Safety Services New Brunswick. And um, those also book up really fast. So if you want to get in on some of the first courses that are coming in through the springtime, also give them a call and set up your safety course. That's such a valuable course. I mean, you can figure out how to ride a bike without one, but I remember when I did my safety course, uh, with Safety Services New Brunswick, and they got a crew that um, that do the the course up here in Prince Edward Island, um, and they were they're so good. I mean, my control, my slow speed maneuvering, my control overall, my balance, my just my knowledge of the bike went through the roof after I took that course. You know, Brandon took it. I know a bunch of friends that took it as well, and it's it's just it changes the way you operate your machine. So by all means. If you're thinking about getting a motorcycle, if you're a new rider, or if you want a brand new motorcycle, go out there, start thinking about ordering it up, start thinking about put your, putting your name on the one that you want. Because if you want to get the one that you want in time for spring and maximize that first adventure season for yourselves, now's the time to get out there and start thinking about that. All right, um, let's move on to the next thing. Move us to another cool area of the garage. <laughs> What's number four? I gotta get to check my piece of paper. I got a list, I got a list. Number four, start planning your trips. Uh, I just got finished watching some really fun videos from uh, KLR Phil. Oh, he was up with his buddy. They had their KLRs out near La Pro up in New Brunswick. So I'm trying to track that down. And uh, I'm getting really excited um, to get back to New Brunswick for a rip. And oh my God, boys, we're gonna have to go for a rip because just watching that, I got so homesick, so homesick really quick. And I, I really want to do it. I think my goal for this year, well, I'm going to have a lot of goals, but I think my goal for a trip to New Brunswick this year is going to be to head down and camp overnight at Martin Head. Oh, I, I camped overnight there once when I was a kid with my dad, and uh, it was such a beautiful spot. New Brunswick is, is such a great place. I always make time for a New Brunswick trip <laughs> in my riding season because... It, from my other series in New Brunswick that I've shown you before, like the dirt roads, the trails, they are endless. You can spend days looking at that kind of stuff. Like, oh man. Oh, Martin Head 
is this tiny little peninsula right there. You can barely see it. I'll see if I can bring it up. Maybe let it focus a bit, but it's right there. But you can see, look at all the black track, eh? Just look at all the black track on that. Trails for days, and there's a trail that'll run you right up to that peninsula, and you can camp right up on there. I don't know if the KLR can make it, but you know what? <laughs> there's only one way to find out. <laughs> anyway, so that's number four. Number five is an easy one. Um, you know, uh, get excited. It's okay to be excited for the adventure season. You know, get your hopes up. People always say, oh, don't get your hopes up. You know, it might not be a great adventure season. It's, it's going to be a great adventure season this summer. And I am getting pumped, and that's what my focus is on right now. When I need something to lift the spirits, I start thinking about getting on that KLR, packing it up for a good camp, heading on out for a big trip, and just, I'm, I'm getting pumped. All the cool new stuff that's going to go on the bike once I get it installed. Oh, right. All the awesome new videos. Oh, I'm so excited to film, like, so much cool stuff. I've got some plans in the works, Island Riders. We're nearing the end of Witch's River, which means I've got an idea for another big trip. And I'll tell you, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm getting excited. I'm already getting excited about it. This is what it's about, man. Putting smiles on your face and getting pumped up. Anyway, that is it for me today. I hope, if you're on your on season, if you're actually riding out there, ride safe. You know, let me know where you're headed. And again, like in the comments, like I said before, let me know what is the, uh, what kind of adventure are you thinking about planning up? For this season i'm excited to hear about that if uh, you're in your off season enjoy it relax like i said those are some five things that you might want to think about doing and until the next time we ride together until the next time we meet in the garage here to tinker on on the silver fox take care island riders 